I like how today I did really neutral everything. Neutral lip, neutral eye, neutral shirt, and then BAM! Neon nails. Like I feel like I should be directing traffic, like at an airport, you know, with those guys and, like do all sorts of fun hand motions. I don't know what they do. Also, I attempted to put on false lashes today. You will notice there are no false lashes on my eyes. That's because I failed miserably. There may have been some tears involved. It was, it was disgraceful. Hello everyone! I am here today to share with you guys some products that are beyond levels of high end. Like I picture these products are like like the vanity of the queen. You know, like surrounded by crown jewels. At least that's how I imagine the queen lives. You guys know I love products of all price points from $5 to $500 and everywhere in between. Drugstore haul coming at you soon. But sometimes I get super curious about some of these products that are priced at a very premium level and I'm kind of curious if they actually work. Sometimes there are busts, which <laughs> hurts my wallet and, and my soul. But sometimes I'll find some really good products and that's what I want to share with you guys today. Now these are luxury items that are at a premium price. If that isn't for you, you could totally live without them. But if you're in the market for a splurge or you've been curious about any of the products that I'm here to tell you about today, then I'm gonna tell you for free, <laughs> get it, because they're expensive, that these are all products that I've been absolutely loving lately, so without further ado, let's get into this. The first one, this bad boy. Hello. This is the Dyson Supersonic Blow Dryer. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you probably recognize this bad boy, oh, I'm just knocking things all over the place, it's fine. This is important. This I bought when I was pregnant with Julia and I needed to have like a fan on me at all times, otherwise I would melt into a pregnant puddle on the floor. And so when Dyson sent this to me to kind of test out, I saw it and I was like, oh, it's like a baby version of my favorite thing ever. I've been testing this out for about a month now. I've had my sisters-in-law test it because they have thicker, more frizz-prone hair and I am in love with it. In fact, I am so much love with it, I actually went out and bought one and I pre-ordered because it's not technically available in Canada until today, so I'll put a link to their website in case you're interested in buying it. As someone who blow dries her hair and styles it quite often, there are a couple of things I really liked about this. Number one, Ooh. that's my hair commercial moment for you all. This is gonna protect the natural shine in your hair because it has special temperature sensors, so it's gonna keep it under a temperature that can cause irreparable damage to your hair. And number two, I have a lot more control in styling my hair for more volume. Most blow dryers have a lot more weight in the head, so it just makes it a lot heavier when you're blow drying your hair. So after like five minutes, my arms hurt. I'm also out of shape, but that's besides the point. This one has the motor in the handle, so it's just a lot better weighted, and so I found it to be a lot easier to style my hair. Also, side note, this thing has insane airflow. I just found that I was blow drying my hair a lot faster, and the attachments are great because they attach with a magnet and they don't get really hot, so you can turn them and move them while you're blow drying your hair, which is kind of a game changer. The next tech gadget I want to talk to you guys about is the Foreo Luna 2 for sensitive skin, and this, first of all, I can't stop feeling it like this. It's so soft. And this is a skincare device that's supposed to improve the overall texture of your skin and just create this firmer, smoother appearance. I have tried Clarisonic like multiple times. Like I really want to be those Clarisonic people that just have this beautiful like baby soft skin. I've tried it so many times and every single time my skin is just disaster for weeks and I'm like, no. <laughs> but I've heard so many good things about this particular device so I wanted to try it out and I'm in love. So first of all, I really love the giant brush area. Brush area? I guess it's a brush. It's super soft and it's gonna cover a larger area when you're cleaning the skin. And it's made of silicone so it's easy to wash. You don't have to replace the brush head with the Clarisonic which I had to do like every three months. I was a little bit worried it was gonna be really loud or like a super aggressive like buzzing in my hand when I'm trying to like brush it into my face but it's really calming and very soothing. Really nice to do at night actually. Also something I wasn't expecting, the battery power on this thing is ridiculous. Like I haven't had to charge it yet and I've had it for several months. So the way that I use this is I first take off all of my makeup and then I apply my cleanser to my skin and then I just kind of massage it in and it like beeps after you like finish each area of your face, if that makes sense. And then you're done in a minute. And my skin feels baby soft right after doing it and then the next morning my skin is still super smooth so my makeup goes on smoother. My, it just, I feel like I'm getting all of the extra nutrients out of all of my moisturizers a lot better because my skin is so clean. I don't know, overall, this was well worth the money for me and I love it. Next up is a makeup item and this is the only makeup item that I included because primarily where I'm gonna be spending the money is on like tech beauty devices or it's gonna be on skincare and make my skin look radiant. But this one I had to include because I've been obsessed with it for over a year now, probably a year and a half. It's by Giorgio Armani, it's their Maestro Liquid Summer. It has an SPF of 15, it is a liquid bronzer, and it is gold in a bottle. And not just because it is extremely expensive. It's a waterless formula, so it has oils and pigments in it that is just gonna create this beautiful dewy finish to the skin. So maybe if you have oily skin, this is probably not the play, 
but oh my gosh, you need just the tiniest amount to create a beautiful summery glow to the skin. You can apply it with just like a beauty blender around the outskirts of, outs why do I always call it the outskirts of my face? The outside, you know, circumference. It's got a little bit of a gold reflex in it, which looks beautiful on the skin by itself. Or what I do is I combine it with my foundation. So it's a great way of taking a more winter foundation and making it summery if you're applying more, more self tanner, which is what I do. Or oftentimes I will just use this by itself with a little mascara and I'm good to go. I also find it doesn't change the formula of the product you're mixing it with. It feels almost like the like the cover effects drops do and just that it just I don't know it just makes my face look amazing it's not orangey in any way I've tried a bunch of different liquid bronzers and this is by far the best one I've ever tried the first product on the list is an eye cream it's by Guerlain so, so you know it's gonna be expensive this is the Abel Royale gold eye tech serum eye sculpt serum my bad let's try that again the Abel Royale gold eye tech uh, hold, nope the Abel Royale gold eye tech eye sculpt serum <laughs> Finally. Quick background on this product. It was around my birthday and I was applying my makeup, looking in the mirror, and I looked at my eyes and I was like, oh my gosh, are those lines? And so that is how this arrived in my, my Sephora order. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, the first time I used this, I was like, wow, that did nothing. I'm gonna go cry in a corner now with my wallet. But after using it diligently morning and night, because just after one use, that's kind of ridiculous. I don't know what I was expecting to happen. I started noticing that the area around my eye was just looking a lot more hydrated. Makeup was sitting better under my eye area. It wasn't creasing as much. So according to the website, it contains a combination of black bee honey and royal jelly, which is going to target the fine lines. And the applicator is kind of cool because it has this little area that you put your finger into and you use that to apply the product to the eyes and it's going to decongest and depuff the area. There are some other ingredients in it that are just gonna tighten the area immediately and create what they call a soft focus or just blur this business. It's like a full eye massage. It's going to help the product seep into the skin. It's going to tighten and brighten and lift the whole area. And overall, I have been in love with this eye cream. And lastly is another skincare product because what a surprise. I'm really about the skin. And that is a custom serum by Skin Ink. It's just a really cool concept. So I went on the Sephora website and I clicked on this link and it's going to have you fill in all this information about your skin and maybe issues you feel like you have with your skin, stuff like that. And it's going to recommend three different ingredients to create this custom serum for you. So these are my three right here. So I have a vitamin A, French pine bark serum, and coenzyme Q10. And then you can combine them in any way that you want if you want more of one ingredient over another. And it's going to cover any sort of skin issues that you have, whether it's dryness or acne or fine lines or anything at all. And any combination that you can think of, they have tons tons of different ones on their website. They're really, really highly rated. Also, I really like that they have on the website and tell you what each of the ingredients is supposed to be for and how it's going to help your skin. So if you wanted to, I don't know, substitute a different one for whatever reason, you can totally do that. So like on the website, they have the hyaluronic acid, which is for long lasting hydration or licorice serum, which is for calming irritated skin. Like there's all sorts of different ones. It's completely customizable and I love, 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 love this. And that's everything for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful and let me know in the comment section below what your favorite high-end product is and let me know if you guys want me to do like my favorite um, inexpensive products and I'll talk about my favorite products that are like the least expensive products that I own or something like that um, I hope you guys are having an amazing amazing week so far and I'll see you guys all in my next video love you girls Mwah.